And now we wait for everybody to show up again. And now we wait for everybody to show up again. So now we wait. Okay, uh, this hand is very mid. Very mid, but that's fine. Very, very mid, but that is fine. Magma. Could get to a seven, but it's not worth it. Probably should have done Saranir, Saranir, Synchron for Ancient Pixie. Those two, Saranir, Dump, Blue Bellion, do Dump, Blue Bellion, do that, and thins the deck, but doesn't get us any further to a playable end. Does not get us any closer. Instead, we take the Sarnir. I think we take the Sarnir. Probably should have max seed and draw phase. Uh, I think we're fine. Looks like they're playing. Guardian Slime, or are they just playing that as a draw engine? Hey everybody, you're back. How's audio? Audio doing okay? Oh, they're just going to draw another one? That's great. Uh, sure. We'll maxi them here. Much better. Okay, cool. Everybody can hear me now. Did everybody enjoy the uh, the duel against Black Wings? Was it nice that Red Nova Dragon actually came up? They thought they had an out to our board, and they didn't. They went battle phase with Draco Berserker, and we got to use Red Nova to banish and negate the attack, so Draco Berserker wouldn't be able to run over everything. It's pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. Red Nova came up. It's wild. <laughs> I believe this stops me from attacking, yeah. Monsters except for the Wind Dragon Rod can't attack. I have no idea what they're doing. They're I'm not even paying attention to be honest. They just drew like a million cards. But Okay, they're gonna go big A grind. Oh, Barone. That's cool. Uh, might as well use Beast now. Force the Baron to gate. Clear that up for our turn. And then if they continue to push, we get to uh, hit them with Nib. And if they don't continue to push, well then we're fine because they already burned their Baron to gate. Pretty good stuff. Looks like we have some people here. 
four people. Uh, are all of you interested in uh, doing some dual room stuff so I can test some deck lists and, you know, work on them without having to throw them at the rank ladder? That'd be fun. Uh, we're going Sarnir. I think we have to Sarnir here. Or at least I want to. Oh, that's fine. Hey, we got rid of the Maxi. That's cool. Do you think this powder will get a reprint soon? I sure as hell hope so. I personally don't think any Yu-Gi-Oh card should cost more than like 20 bucks. And even then, 20 bucks is like really expensive for a piece of cardboard. Like really expensive. Uh, when would this Potter get a reprint? One of the next reprint sets? I think maybe another maze. Yeah, maybe another maze of millennia or whatever. Let's do this. You go here. You search. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just going to click buttons until I win. TBH. Uh, let's dump the crimson. That. Bone. Target you. Let's, I don't know, dump the Uva loop. Let's increase the level of the monster. Let's make it this Potter early for whatever reason. I don't know, because it, I think it'll be fun. We're just going to do this free form. Keep it real loose and flowy. We'll dump the loop belly on. Uh, that can banish the synchro monster. The only one we haven't played is this Potter. We don't want to do that yet. Uh, special division. Use vision and bone for red rising. Uh, red rising one. Bring back. Uh, don't matter. Vision is fine. Vision effects. Grab a Gaia. Gaia, what do they got with their hand activation? It's definitely Nib. Definitely Nib. So how do we protect ourselves from Nib? We go here and here. We put Scar right on board. Yes, they have Nibiru. Uh, Uva Loop. Banish the Bird Rising. And go to Spotter. Ooh, we can bring back Magnumut. Does that get us anywhere? Gets us a uh, monster Jerusalem, I think we haven't gone through yet. Gets us Jerusalem in the end phase. If we do Red Rising, do I have my normal summon? No. If I do Red Rising, I can Uber Loop to do nothing. Yep, we definitely just bring back the Magnumut. 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 Just bought the RDA deck. Only card I don't want to buy is this Potter. I can't blame you that. Blame me for that, Francisco. It is expensive, and uh, fortunately, like the deck is better with it. But I don't think it drastically changes the fate of the deck. It's still going to be an off-meta roguish kind of deck. Um, you could just play Supernova Turbo. You know, and that's that's kind of cool. That's good enough sometimes. 
That's good enough sometimes. What do we want to grab here? We're going to grab the red z -z -z zone. And then... There it is. Okay. Thank you. We will... Shuffle in the Lubellion. I'm pretty sure I didn't want to do that. Because if I pop it, does the token get summoned? Kind of want that token. Kind of want a chunky token. Oh, me oh my, would you look at this? Have I engineered a way into Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss? Did I engineer a way I didn't auto die to nib? That was pretty nifty. Wow, and Synchron can grab back something for next turn. Let's let's grab Vision back because now we can Uvaloop, banish. Oove loop banish. Kind of want to do this Potter. I really want to do this Potter so we can bring back this Potter on our bonus turn with Red Zone. And that's another interaction. Kind of want to do Red Dragon Archfiend. We'll do this Potter. We'll banish this Potter. Summon the Oove loop. Red Zone brings back this Potter next turn. Then. This potter uses its effect to shuffle in the red rising dragon to pop something. We float back into the scar red off the pop via crimson Gaia. Then our soul resonator is live for protection from destruction. And then we also have the scar red float into red dragon archfiend. We negate this so we can attack. Get them for half your life points and give them a one turn clock. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can bring back tuners too. Uh, let's bring back a Synchron. Oh no. Did I know that was there? It's fine. That's fine. It just basically can't be destroyed by battle. That's fine. I really don't care. TBH. I need to hurry up on time. Gabbing too much. I have a tendency to do that. Do that we bring back you and turn. Oh, a magma, uh, grip Drew's turn. No, stop. Yes, use the effect now. I want this this potter back ASAP. Okay, there we go. Cool. We've engineered ourselves into a position where we actually have time to interact. What the? F Did I know they had that? Did I just purposely play into? Sphere mode, because I'm an idiot. Should I have known they had that? Did I play into sphere mode like an idiot? No, there's no way I knew they had that. Okay. There's no way I knew they had that. I feel like absolute garbage right now. Not going to lie. <laughs> feel like absolute garbage. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I had a trap. Don't care. 
Oh, that's terrible. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious, but terrible. Maybe this convinces them to push. And then we nib them. Big nib coming. We're gonna roll that Jerusalem swarm to him. It's one, two, three. They gonna make an early Baron again? We can bait it by banishing that. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Add the spell trap. Add it. Okay, so they have Ra. They have Ra. Do they have any way to deal with the ball? Uh, that's fine. You can destroy it. I need to time this Jury Swarm up correctly. You want to negate that. You really, really, really want to negate that. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Now we just need to catch them before they leave main phase. You go to attack, you go to defense, and we save time. One mystery back row. Okay, that's cool. And it's an ash. Uh, that's fine. That is A-OK, -okay. so we normal summon Crimson. Anything. We bone send the nib. Anything here? Ooh, called by kinda hurts. Yikes, that hurts a lot. It really doesn't hurt. We got the red zone. Red zone. Bring back our Dark Dragon Synchro Monster. Only other card face up on the field is a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster. We go for the second Scar Red. Uh, yep, second Scar Red. 
There we go. Vision. Grab Gaia. Gaia. Uh, let's see what we grab in here. We just need. Okay, thank you for surrendering. Thank you. So I didn't have to map out the rest of the combo in 36 seconds. I appreciate that. Very much appreciate you not trying to make me out my own nib token. That's way too much mental energy. All right, everybody. So that's our big Bestial Resonator deck list. I like this version. I like the 53 cards, believe it or not. I like playing big, big, big deck lists for Red Dragon Archfiend. I think it makes sense. Uh, I think it makes sense for how I want to build the deck. And it makes sense for my own uh, neurotic tendencies where I like to have an answer for everything because I get to fit a whole bunch of stuff in there like bells and failures and void apocalypses and nibs and all that good stuff. What do you think of the new RDA equip spell if you saw it? I did see it, some guy. I am intrigued by it. Uh, it's not going to change the fate of the deck, but it's another useful card that is searchable by Vision Resonator or uh, or Crimson Gaia, which is interesting. Um, they seem to have a very cohesive design philosophy when it comes to Red Dragon Archfiend support now, um, which is make everything mention Red Dragon Archfiend. And it seems like they're trying to give a lot of the uh, back row support or just new support, like layers of utility. So like the new equip spell is cool because it turns Red Dragon Archfiend or Scar Red Dragon Archfiend into a towers. That's neat. That that's not bad. If you that's an extra layer you add onto your end board plus full combo. So like you end with the Dispotter, the Abyss, and the Skyward Dragon Archfiend, and Crimson Gaia, and then the Equip Spell, equipped to Skyward Dragon Archfiend, making it a Towers that will also float if your opponent runs over it. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Uh, that's pretty good. And then going second, it has Utility 2, which is really cool. I think that's really intriguing, really neat, because um, you can make the Skyward equip the equip spell to it while you're trying to play into your opponent's board and then that pretty much demands that they remove the scar red before the equip spell can apply its effect or they destroy the equip spell which means they're burning interaction and you're chipping through their board and if they don't well now you got a 3k towers and that 3k towers can book moon all their stuff and then you can continue playing after you flip all their stuff face down you basically get to save your battle phase um for removal for removing monsters instead of using it to try and just force out interaction by flipping things down so you, it's, it's intriguing it's very very intriguing i uh, i i like the design i don't think changes anything for the deck but i think it's definitely playable as a one of definitely playable as a one of since you can get access to it pretty much whenever send vision to resonate to the graveyard and you know you got access to it if you need it it's interesting very very interesting what do you think about it some guy you excited you happy disappointed intrigued curious um i'm uh pretty excited and optimistic i guess ever since the structure deck it seems like konami has been trying to put like one or two cards in every other set or so specifically for red dragon archfiend like they made koi belt level seven dark dragon synchro that's useful and does something you know uh red flame king lotus crime is coming out sometime soon that's another card for it uh, this new equip spell is another one for it trying to think if there was other, any other indirect Red Dragon Archfiend support that came out, but I like that they're sprinkling stuff out there. If I was a Konami employee, if I was someone designing cards for Konami, 
my philosophy of releasing cards for sets would be to make sure they tie into other products. So if you have something like a structure deck, that's a great entry point for budget players, for new players, returning players, or even somebody just looking to mix up their the deck they play, you know? So it's an accessible way to get into the card game or continue playing the card game. I, as a potential card designer, would see that and then go, hmm, now if they're invested in the card game through the structure deck, let me make cards in my main sets and side sets that tie into that structure deck to get that person invested in another set as well. Hey, Elliot, no. Come here. Sorry, everybody. That's my cat, Elliot. Um, he was scratching the carpet on the stairs. The new carpet we just had put in like uh, a month ago because uh, our basement flooded last year and took forever to get it fixed and renovated and all that stuff. Sorry. But um, yeah, anyways, back to my rant. Yeah, like if I was a Konami designer, I would see like, okay, I have structured decks. It's a cheap and easy and accessible way to get people in a card game. I can use that as leverage or incentive for people to continue buying product and continue getting invested in the game by releasing support in my sets that directly tie into the structure decks. So I, I think Konami is doing a little bit of that. I think they could do a better job, better job of that. Just like two or three cards, every set, just specifically for Red Dragon Archery. Just keep throwing stuff at the wall until you get stuff that's like good and functional and cool. Or maybe something that just helps diversify the deck and help you take it different directions. So I'm very excited that they are uh, they are at least trying to maintain Red Dragon Archfiend support. Anyways, uh, let's go. Let's go duel again. Let's keep dueling. Anyway, some guy, if you're still here, uh, curious to hear what your thoughts are. I uh, I don't think it changes the fate of the deck, but I definitely think it's an interesting card. Very interesting card, and uh, very interesting that they gave RDA another card that makes a towers and also Book of Moon stuff. Kind of cool. Uh, I think we hold this. They talents us, look at our hand, they look and they see that we have the same cards. So they don't get anything. All right, good call. That way if they're playing lab, we can at least get something out of the maxi when they try to special the lady. And that's a dead card. Great. You. You. Maxi. Uh, I gotta see what they're on. Am I playing eccentric in this list? I should be. I'm not. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. <coughs> we'll get the vision. We'll get vision. Send vision with bone. We'll special bone. We'll give them one draw. A vision gets us access to Gaia and then Gaia can get us access to something else. So at least we're getting closer to closer to a point where the maxi doesn't hurt as much. I really just need to see what one of these back row are on so I know what we're up against. TBH. I might give them might give them 
another draw. I don't know right now. I don't know what I want to do right now. I mean, we'll send the Uva Loop just to get it out and get it in rotation. We'll increase the level. Let's go Sky Red. We'll give him one more draw and we'll float. Just to put a floater on the field. Plus now if we uh, Crimson Gaia get red zone. Ooh, they're playing burn. Feel like we should soul resonator here. Feel like we should soul resonator here. Crimson Gaia, anything? Uh, grab the red zone kinda wanna crash in kinda also don't wanna run into a magic cylinder I think we'll just go to the end phase if they're playing burn I don't wanna give them another draw in case they destroy the red dragon archfiend somehow Not gonna lie, I expect something better, especially if it helped play three ups. Yeah, that would have been nice. It would have been very nice. Would have been really cool for them to uh to give us like a proper extender. Or like a proper B B route combo line or whatever. Would have been nice. But I'll uh I'll take what I can get, I suppose. Take what I can get. Soul, soul facts. Okay, thank you. Synchron. Synchron, special itself. I'm gonna get to Abyss here because Abyss just cooks back row decks if they're not gonna put any pressure. Because it just blanks one thing every turn. Abyss. Uh, you. You give me the fish. Cool. Okay, so now we've worked ourselves into a position where if they activate anything, we get to take two cards because Abyss negates one and then Red Zone pops the next. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and... feel like we should get this Scar Red off the field. I'm sorry, this OG Red Dragon Archfiend off the field. We'll ash that. Unless that's just a bait so they can use like Gravedigger's Triple. Unless I'm just completely misreading the situation and they're not actually on a burn strategy. They're just playing a really weird control deck. We'll see though. We'll see though. That's an odd place to use Maxi too. I don't think they expected us to go in this hard into five back row. But if they're not going to use it, I'm just not going to be afraid. You know? Uh, we'll get Phoenix Golem just to have it. Boom. Boom. Get the good one back on board. There we go. Soul protection is in graveyard. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Uh, Gaia search. What you got for me? Like I have Lethal on board, if I just want to swing into him I can, but I don't know how I feel about it to be H. Don't know how I feel about it to be honest. Uh, 
Uh, what do you say, chat? Do we swing in or do we just let him ride? Still have ways to extend if something goes wrong. Kind of feel like we just forced the issue. Seems like a good idea to me. Uh, thanks, Red Zone. I don't care about the Just Desserts, but I do care about these other mystery back row. Red or right, though, they are on burn. I don't care if you inflict 500 to me. Uh, 300 for every card I control, that's fine, too. I really don't care. Uh, 200 for each card in their hand or card they control. Uh, secret barrel. So that's what? 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2. That's 2K. 2K plus 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. That's 35. 35 plus 5, 10, 15. It's only 4K. That's fine. I'll take 4K and save the Abyss Negate for one of these others. So that's another 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay, let's see if they flip their last card. Let's see if I did math right. Yep, I did math right. And what was that? Gravediggers? Yeah, it was Grave Diggers. That's fine. Boop. Uh, I don't know. Let's yeah, let's summon the Synchron. Let's summon another Synchron. Whoopee! Risk it. Thank you, some guy. We're on the same page, some guy. Sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit, you know. I could win, but I want to be a dick. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> feels good to summon Supernova. A gigantic Supernova. It feels great. They're a bot. I'm not really bullying anybody anyways. They're, they're just a bot. Uh, let's see here. Let's, let's do... Let's just pass turn. I think there's a, a secret mission or whatever that I have that's like do 8,000 or more damage uh, in a single attack. We're going to do that with the supernova right here. We're just going to send tuners to the graveyard until we get it. Special you. Bane, tribute off another tuner. Summon back the RDA. I don't know, vision, grab, something. And then we can, we don't have a way to put another, don't have a way to put another tuner in graveyard. Oh yes we do, here we go. We grab this vision, and then we, Use this bone archfiend. Send this vision to the graveyard. All right, there we go. We got an AK, 8K battle. Uh, supernova. Get him. Hiya! There we go. I would feel bad if that wasn't a bot. Okay, so now that we got some people here, do you all want to do a uh, dual room and that stuff? You want to do a dual room, have fun, maybe hat secret duel, deal over. Oh, okay. You got to do it 20 times. Dang. Okay. Well, that's at least one down. Dual room, help me test out some decks. 
have some fun, or do you want to keep going at the ranked ladder? What do y'all want to do? I wouldn't mind ranked ladder. I also wouldn't mind Durham. Would like to test some new stuff. I pulled from the Chimera pack. That was pretty neat. My pools were garbage. I think I averaged one UR per. Um, show cards you own. Uh, so I pulled pulled one Adminia. Obviously, I broke that down because I already reworked the deck. I pulled one Adminia. I pulled two Lars. I pulled a Noir. So that's four URs. I pulled a Garden Chimera. That's five URs. And I pulled one Mirror Sword Knight, six URs, and a Nightmare Magician, seven URs. I had 7,000 gems. I used all of them, and I got seven URs. So yeah, I got one UR a pack. My pools were absolutely terrible, which is hilarious because I was very excited for this pack. Resonator Goat. Ryan, you are correct. Resonator is the goat. Love the deck. It's amazing. Yeah, but my pools were absolute garbage. Utter trash. Utter, utter, utter trash. Uh, I had to break down existing decks I had just to build a partially complete Chimera build. So. Alright, uh, let's keep going Ranked Ladder. And it sounded like you are the Resonator Goat? No, far from it. I just like playing the deck a lot. I'm just the most vocal about playing it, that's all. I appreciate the kind words, though. Appreciate the kind words. Konami gotta remove Dark Dragon Synchro Lock. Yeah, yeah. I would be very interested to see what, like, the deck could do without, uh, without the Dark Dragon Synchro Lock. But... Somehow I, I kind of like the Dark Dragon Synchro Lock, too. Okay. Um, add Rescue Ace Spell. That's fine. We max C here, and we always save Imperm for... Save Imperm for Turbulence. So if they're playing under max C, they might try to go straight for a Turbulence line. And if they tunnel on that, they might not use the D Bell Stars. So, oh, fuck me. Whoops. Sorry, everybody. Language. Um, okay, it looks like we're impermanent. Might as well. Might as well. They're always taking the imperm. Might as well use it. I mean, we have three copies of Bone Archfiend in our hand. Let them see the Bone Archfiend. If they decide that they're okay with passing here, that's fine. If they just wanted to look at the hand to see if they could pass safely with whatever they have in their hand. That's all right. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you might as well break me on multiple copies of Bone Archfiend. Of course they have three. Of course they have three set cards. Eh, that's not bad. Uh, let's play Loose with it. I uh, kind of feel like we need to do Soul. Uh, somebody remind me after this duel, too, to add... Archfina centric to the deck list. So I could search it with soul. That's perfect. Okay, they don't know what they're doing. That's kind of what I was banking on, to be honest with you. Uh, choice for Resonator there was between Crimson and Soul. I like Soul because it gives people a big shiny yellow button to click. And a lot of times people will click that big shiny yellow button, even when it's not right. I mean, they know I have the Bone Archfina in hand. There's literally no point to stopping the soul resonator okay especially in a rescue ace monster which one are they doing uh are they gonna do the one that books preventer i think is the one that books 
that would be a bad time. That would be a real bad time. Yep. Ooh. They need to control another rescue ace monster. There they go. They found their other rescue ace monster. Yep. Maybe there's an argument for not imperming. Just to keep the extra card in hand. I don't think it would have mattered here because we'd have already used our normal summon. I think we were talking about the Dark Dragon Synchro Lock before I got distracted by shiny buttons glowing on the screen. Yeah. It'd be cool to see what the deck could do without it. It'd be cool to see what the full potential of the cards is without any meaningful restrictions. But at the same time, I do really appreciate the Dark Dragon Synchro Lock because it gives the deck its own unique personality. I really like that Red Dragon Archfiend plays all the Red Dragon Archfiends makes it feel different than a lot of the decks makes it feel especially different than a lot of the synchro spam decks where it's just like barren turbo so i do appreciate that do appreciate that okay they resolve turbulence we lose let's get out of here Uh, right. Let's go again. Let's go again. If we lose again, we'll switch the deck list up so I can get some testing in with the new build. Hopefully all of you like it. Hopefully all of you don't tar and feather me for it. New Chimera build that I want to test out so I feel comfortable giving a deck profile. I already know how the deck works. I just need to make sure the ratio is there correct for Master Duel because I've only ever played it in the TCG. So, okay, Stone Sweeper. Stone Sweeper, grab Soul. Soul. Grab. Nope. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, thank you. Grab Bump. Res call. Crimson. Probably incorrect to grab Crimson here because I know I'm going to get stopped. So I should probably be working on an alternate line contingency plan. But. Because they're probably going to imperm-revealer this right now. No, they let it ride. Okay, that's neat. Uh, Oovloop, send. I don't know what they're getting pinged for then. It's a chance it could be something like Lab with a furniture in the end. Uh, don't think it's a bestial because they had pops before. Before I had Darks in the graveyard. Oh, it's failure. Okay, they're waiting. That's fine. That's fine. Eh. That's fine. I feel comfortable passing there. Belger Swarm Nib in hand. I feel pretty good about that. Think Red Lotus will change the game for RDA? No. It won't change the game for it. Uh, it doesn't do enough on its own. It needs other cards to be playing in order for it to do its thing. Uh, I think we definitely do that. They're probably playing Earthbound Runic. Interesting. 
What was I going to say? Uh, no, yeah, it needs other cards to do stuff, which is fine. But when you need other cards to do stuff and you're a level 3 non-tuner, you don't line up well with the rest of Red Dragon Archfiend. The rest of the cards in the deck. So it's not going to change the game. It'll be it'll be nice. It'll definitely see play. It'll give alternate play lines and different things to consider when deck building, but it won't change. It won't change the game. Are they playing like actual Earthbound? Uh, you can gain life points. That's the worst effect I've ever seen on a card. Uh, so I was doing a what you need to know. Hand fielder graveyard. Uh, that's f fine. That's fine. I don't think the Druid Swarm does enough there. Yeah, I don't think the Druid Swarm does enough there. Okay, Geo Kraken, Geo Kraken grab, Field Spell, which one we grab? Necro Valley. Oh, that's that's garbage. That's garbage. We'll banish their stuff. Okay, so how do we beat Necro Valley? It's a very good question. It's a very, very good question. Risk call. What do they have? Do we just... Do we just vision here, vision, special itself, synchro with the Druid Swarm, make Scar Red, Druid Swarm, send Servant, vision, grab Gaia, Gaia, grab Red Zone, Fiendish Golem, and then run over the Earthbound Servant. Or do we grab Soul, Soul grab Bone? Nah, that's just a... The Soul Line loses the more. Soul Line loses the more stuff. Soul line loses the more stuff, so we're just going to uh We're just gonna go Vision one, chain black that with the Druid Swarm so we get the ad. Send this Geo crack into the graveyard. Oh anyways, that's what I was saying. I finally remember what I was saying before I got distracted. Um But this card. Geo Gremlin. That's fine, you can destroy as many cards as possible. I'm gonna float anyways. Um, such a terrible effect. I was doing a what you need to know on Earthbounds, the new Earthbound stuff. Uh, probably still gonna release it, just cause I do really like the Earthbound stuff. I just got bogged down with trying to do a whole bunch of other stuff with the uh, YouTube channel and personal life to uh, Got way too bogged down with that stuff. T 
to uh, to finish that video, but this is such a terrible effect. There's the ash. I mean, that's fine. I can live with that. We have a two turn plan to out this though. Gonna activate it, it's not gonna do anything. I mean to end phase. Two turn plan is uh, eventually Gaia will grab red zone. Red zone can pop the necro valley when, when we need to. Sync seven pop necro. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a good line, Ryan. Pixie, because Pixie can pop a field spell. Ah, I always forget about an Ancient Pixie Dragon. I forget about Koi Belt a lot, too. Honestly, I feel pretty good about my chances here. Feel pretty good about it. Hey, we did it. I've got a feeling. Okay, sorry, I got to text my wife. Gotta be a good husband. Okay, that's done. All right, one more until we get to plat one. Can we get to plat one tonight? Please. When did you gain a rank? Princess IP. Hmm. Simping, I see. Simping. Although I will give them credit, they do have A bomb as their uh as their mate instead of you know, one of the uh simp mates. Like Laundry Dragon Maid. Um uh, we What do we wanna do here? Definitely go res call. Do you think they're playing Sortal? Maxi res call. Mic check. Grips hole. Soul. Effect. Anything? You think the Centurion level 12 Dark Dragon Sacred one is I mean, viable? Uh, there's some people who mess around with Centurion Resonator right now in the RDA Discord. They like it. They really like playing it. Um, I definitely think there's it's worth considering because Centurion's really good at making making big synchros give you big tuner levels which is nice to work with it's really cool it's probably something i should experiment with a little bit to make sure i don't have a blind spot for it i think the level 12 synchro um deserves a spot in bridge dragon arch and extra decks too i think it'd be one of the ever one of the flex spots i think it could be in the spot of like a void ogre dragon or a red nova dragon or like the second copy of uh, an abyss. Uh, that's cool. At least we got Valor, Magma, Nib. Okay. Uh, no idea what they're playing. No idea what they're playing. That's fine though. Check this out. Crimson Gaia. Grab a Soul Resonator. Soul Resonator, check for Imper. See if they remember that I searched the Bone Archfiend. 
Okay, uh, they did not remember. So now we... What do we want to add to hand? Kind of feel like adding vision is correct here. That way if bone gets stopped, we have some sort of extension. And we're going to send... How do I know which one's in the spawn trap zone? It points at it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Because I want to send the one that's in the spell and trap zone. Because that's a free send. Thanks for the help, Omi. Appreciate the free send. Okay. Would you like to stop this? Would you like to stop this? Yes. Thank you. Stopping it. Good job. Good job, good job, good job, good job. You did it. Ooh, they negated the Crimson Gaia. That's pretty neat. Ancient Pixie Dragon? Anything here? No? Probably should have been in attack position. Probably. Get into Abyss. Let's blank the last back row. Vision. Go ahead and add the red zone. Add the red zone. No Uva Loop Engrave. Nothing Engrave. Uh, do they have anything? No. Let's Magnema banish the ancient pixie dragon so we can always grab it off a of red zone later. That way we can block an attack. Okay, Magnema. Magnema effects. Curious to see what they're working with. Nib. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. It's fine. It's fine that I got nibbed. I still have Valor Nib for their turn. Plus, I can always use the Abyss Deal that Magnemut's going to grab me to banish the Abyss instead to bring the Abyss back on their turn. It's not a bad plan. Uh, not a bad plan at all. Magnemut, grab. Let's grab Trius for him. Could potentially be another disruption on their turn. Or at least something they have to worry about. Uh, do I want to do this fast? I think so. Because if I'm reading Sword Soul. It's not Sword Soul though, right? Eh, we got to do it. We got to do this fast. We're in a simplified game state, and I have Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Okay. Um, that is definitely a move. Definitely dissuades me from bringing back the Abyss. It's not a bad move at all. Cash Tira. Okay, so they've cast your barf. Birth normal summon that one from the hand. That's fine. Uh you are You are Do I want to Valor it or do I want to Finish Golem it? I think I'll finish Golem it. Save the Valor. Are they just playing like staples turbo or are they playing like snake cash? I was dumb to finish golem it. They had birth. That was dumb. Now we have to veil her anyways. Should have just veil it from the start. Oh well, 
At least they can't out the big ass token. Uh, yes, we red zone. We red zone for Abyss just because it can run over something. I know its effects are still negated next turn, but it's fine. Just gives us two big monsters to out there stuff. And then when it gets back to their turn, we can negate the birth or whatever we need to. Change to attack position. Fenrir is live. It's definitely worth giving up our battle phase just to run over everything. Definitely worth giving up our battle phase just to run over everything. Main two. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to send to Graveyard? What do we want to do? Uh, Gaia. Guy's going to add soul. Guy's going to add soul from deck. So we already have access to... Red zone. We don't really need to get Fiendish Golem back. We're gonna get the Uvaloop into rotation. Now we can bone. Send the Uvaloop. Bone. Bone go to soul. We could send Crimson, just get it out and into rotation. Decrease the level. Synchro for Red Rising. Red Rising, bring back Vision. Yeah, it's all coming together now. It's all coming together now. Vision. And rising for scar red vision effects grab what do we even have left oh third guy that's fine uh Uva loop banish red rising Uh, ba, 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 ba. Red zone. Bring back Red Rising. Then Uva Loop. Banish. Hot Red. Make a Dispotter. This deck just combos so nice once the ball gets rolling. You snowball so good. You just get anything you want from anywhere at any time. Oh, feels so good. Get the Abyss back, even though we banished it. Uh, Foolish Burial. Oh, this gets better. Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial. We're going to send... We're going to send a bestial Lubellion. <laughs> Lubellion effect. Lubellion effect. Uh, probably tribute off the Abyss. And then use the Druus Worm at some point during our opponent's turn to banish the, the Abyss and bring it back. Oh, the deck combo is so good. Feels so good if you get to play. If you get to play, it feels so good. The problem is just getting to play all the time. Getting the play. I finally remember we're going to put Archfiend Eccentric in here. Because there's a handful of times where I've already had access to Bone. Or I already have a decent combo line. But I want to... Uh, but I want to out some back row or something. So we're going to put the Eccentric in there. Uh... 
You know what? Keep the three nib. Go down to two bell. Is that fair? Feel like that's fair. Cool. Join late, and I'm wondering what I assume a cash pay was doing. Running in the bureau. Card is hoarding cash. Uh, yeah, Skippy. It's terrible. <laughs> it blocks your main monster zones, which nullifies the whole cash terror gimmick. No idea what they were doing either. Let's uh, check out their deck list. I think it was cash snake eyes, to be honest. It was a very bad cash terror snake eyes list. Because they wanted to run D Hero Plasma, single lava, lava Golem, when they have a searchable Kurikara, one of Talents, one of Bonfire. You see, they can only play one Bonfire because they, they had to make room for the D Force in their 50 card deck list. Too evenly. The funny thing is, is like you don't even need evenlies in Snake Eyes. You don't need evenly in Snake Eye. The deck plays fine going second, especially with the Cash Terra cards. Deck plays fine. You got enough gas to push through stuff. You have enough contingency plans in place. You can play on your opponent's turn if you set up things right. Play enough hand traps and interactive cards. You don't let your opponent ever build a full board, so you never need the evenly match. It just trades horribly. It's truly one of the deck lists of all time. Yeah, it's it's something. I'm uh, I'm gonna stop looking at it because I'm just gonna start nitpicking and getting to be that Yu-Gi-Oh player. I hope they have fun. I hope they're having fun with the deck they've built. I hope so. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody good? Everybody happy? Everybody having a good Friday? If it is, in fact, Friday where you are. My Friday's good. My Friday's good. It's probably the last, like, free Friday I'm going to have for a while. Job I'm at is going to work overtime until August. So I'll probably be working all Saturdays, which is great. Uh, Let's... Let's Soul Resonator first. Save the little Bellion in our back pocket in case they have something. Okay, they have something. I don't know what it is. But it, it's definitely something. Okay, it's not Droll. Let's send the Crimson. Bone. They're not going to let me use Bone Effects. Bo -bo -bo bone Okay. Bone, send the Uva Loop, decrease level, synchro. Somebody pointed out uh, in the comments of one of my videos when you open Crimson Soul that you should never start with Crimson, uh, and they are 100% cracked. Imperm, okay. And the reason why they're correct. Uh, is because it plays in the nib before you resolve Crimson Resonator's effect. Because you go Soul, Bone, Red Rising, Red Rising, bring back Crimson, Crimson effect to summon. So at least you get to pull the Vision Resonator and the Synchron Resonator out of your deck with Crimson. So whoever pointed that out, I'm going to have to look it up. They are 100% uh, correct. That you should never start with the crimson. Uh, do we want to do Magnum? Kind of feel like we want to do Jurisworm because we're gonna have access to Branded Beast, so that gives us a chance to like two for one off of a Branded Beast activation. So we'll special Lubellion by getting rid of the Red Rising. Cool. Then we'll. Lubellion effect, grab the branded beast, set an imperm, Uva loop, banish the red rising. That's fine. Wish I had one more to banish so I could get Uva loop on field. 
use that and potentially like a magnum mod I would have searched to make a despotter or something, but yeah, it's for next turn. So Imperm, Valor, Jurisworm, Rebellion. And that's why we play the Bistils and lots of hand traps. So our combo got stuck, but still we still have one, two, three, four points of interaction, plus follow up in the graveyard. It's right where we want to be. Will you build Bestial Horus Resonator once the Horus card shop? Um, maybe. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna let that go because we always have the Jurisworms that we can put on the field for Branded Beast. We don't need to have the Lubellion specifically on our side. Sprites. Uh... We do this. We do Jurisworm. Uh, balls. I don't really want to banish either of those. Kind of feel like we have to banish the Crimson, even though it significantly reduces the potency of our combos next turn. Because I want the Bone Archfiend in the graveyard, because Bone Archfiend at least gets us somewhere on its own next turn. No, don't do that. That sucks. So the plan there was the Jewsworm banish. Jewsworm get on field. Use the Branded Beast. Um, tributing off the Sarnir to get clear their board. And then they don't have a level 2 to special all their sprites onto. Because they're about to start raining sprites then. Yep, carrot. That's fine. Uh, so they're probably going to go Lubellion and Pixies into Sprint. Oh no, they're giving up the carrot. Why would you... Unless you're going right for Gigantic. Why wouldn't you... Why wouldn't you go for like Sprint or Elf? With, uh, with my own Lubellion, one to get rid of it, and then, yeah, one to get rid of it, and then two, did I not, did I not negate the gigantic sprite? I'm an idiot. I was too busy talking. Oh well. Could have shut the whole turn down. Wasn't paying attention. Misclick. That's what I get for trying to do three things at once. But uh, some guy, will I build Bestial Horse Resonator? Uh, maybe. Maybe. It only plays like two to three Crimson, a Crimson Gaia. Maybe a Scar Red and a Red Jack and Archfiend in the extra deck. It uses a, like a very, very small Resonator engine, Red Jack and Archfiend engine, which I don't know. It's fine. It's cool that the cards see play, but I'm doesn't really get me excited about it the same way like a, a Red Jack, normal Red Jack and Archfiend list does. It's a cool deck though. Eight axis turbo. Change of heart for the whole turn or just part of the turn? End phase. Why aren't they trying to link off my Lubellion? Extra damage isn't going to change it. Okay, that was easy enough. Despite the misclick, despite the fumble, we still come away with it. That's nice. Don't crucify me for saying this too, chat. I kind of wish Sprite would come back to Master Duel. I like playing Sprite. If you take out Elf, Sprite feels fair. Feels very fair if it doesn't have Elf. Plus Elf is like the most logical card to ban. Since that is the most like splashability and crossover potential with other decks. Uh, 
Uh, Thanamorphia sleeves. Cool. Baguska mate. Dope. So there's a, a video idea that I have. It's been floating around in my head for a while. And uh, it's inspired by Dynamorphia Rexturn. Set five. That's fine. It's inspired by uh, Dynamorphia Rexturn. And the video idea is uh, fix Konami's design mistakes. Because uh, one of the most annoying things that Konami does is like engineer and design like a cool series of cards or an archetype or something like that. And then they, uh, then they go ahead and just give up like two thirds of the way through, or they give up on the second wave. And then give it like a skill drain or a towers or just something super unoriginal with no personality. So fixing Konami's design mistake for Dynamorphia Rexturn would be to change it from a stupid skill drain to making it basically just uh, Kentrogena, but for counter traps. So like Kentrogena can banish the normal trap to counter uh, to copy the normal trap effect. Like just make Rex term that, but for the Dynamorphia counter traps, and then you can print really good counter traps and, you know, like Dynamorphia intact. And you can give Rex term like a quick effect monster negate and then maybe you give Rexton better floating capabilities. I don't know. Just a thought. Okay, so they're going to go down to 1k life points. But think about how cool Rex Turn would be if it was interactive instead of just a stupid floodgate. Uh, feel like we have to do this to try and play. Mr. Opportunity. We out of the Rex turn. No. They had it. That's all right. That's all right. Um, I feel like they win this one. Don't know if there's a way we can outgrind them. Not from our current position. <laughs> Don't think we can outgrind them, but we're going to try. So Void Apocalypse is going to pitch probably Bone, since Bone can recur itself from the graveyard. To send Vision, Vision is going to search, probably should just go right for Fiendish Golem. I think we're just going to go right for Fiendish Golem. Should be Gaia. Let's get greedy. All right. If we're going to try and win this game, let's try and win this game. We're going to go right for Gaia. Hopefully they don't have Sonic. They have, oh, Solemn. Okay. That's fine. Bonarch Fiend can send the synchron. We don't need the synchron. We just need somebody to block. 
Just need somebody to block, that's all. And then we survive a turn. Okay, so the plan is to get Fiendish Golem so we can move the Rexturm off the field. And then when Rexturm's off the field, we can normal summon the Soul Resonator and try to play from there. Uh, and we don't have to go full combo. We just need to get to Scarlet because I don't believe they have any of the effect damage negators in Graveyard. They do not. They do not have any normal traps in Graveyard. So we just got to make it to Scarlet. Scarlet's just got to pop one monster. How much better do you think the Bestials make Resonators? Uh, marginally better, depending on the meta. Um, you have a contingency plan with the Bestials. Um, they also are very good in simplified game states. So if you can get to game state where you're just trading cards, um, it's uh, it's very advantageous to have Bestials. They they make the deck marginally better if Bestials are good into the meta. If Bestials aren't good into the meta, then you're better off just playing generic non-engine in their slots. But, uh, they don't... You can play without them and be just fine. Perfectly fine. It's all about what you're up to. Okay, so lesson learned. We're just gonna grab a Fiendish Golem right away this time. Yeah. We're gonna set the Fiendish Golem. And then we're gonna bone our screen. Send the void apocalypse. Special summon itself. They got brute. Fair flames, okay. That is fine ish. Because we're going to go to the end phase. And when they go for the lethal swing, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. We almost had it. Almost had it, but they got it now. GG's, Dynamorphia player, GG's. GG's. Was one card shy of doing it. Almost had a chance there. It's all right. Okay, uh, I'm ready to switch it up. We're going to play the Chimera Runic deck. Uh, this is the deck list. As you can see, Runic with no Floodgates. Probably should be playing one Floodgate, and that's Barrier Statue of the Abyss, because you can set that up with the one card um, Chimera combo by getting to Burfamet. Burfamet dumps the Barrier Statue, and then Chimera will reborn it during your opponent's turn. Probably should be playing that, but I'm not going to because, I don't know, it's kind of lame. Kind of lame. And we're going to see if we can uh, show off what the deck wants to do and why the deck is really fun to play. Oh, yeah. It's like cocaine. Uh, Kotal. Kotal, grab Mirasaur Knight. Tip. Tip, grab Fountain. Oh, Banish the Maxi. I'm so good. I'm so good at Yu-Gi-Oh. So, so good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, let's go... Dispelling. Special... Hugin. Do I want Hugin or Slepnir? 
Ooh, tough call. Tough call, tough call, tough call. We'll go Hugin just to protect against destruction. Fountain, draw two. And we got Slumber. Oh, awesome. Cool. Okay. Uh, Mirror Sword Knight. Mirror Sword Knight Effect. Summon Burfamet. Burfamet Effect. Burfamet Effect. Grab Chimera Fusion. Yes. Also grab the Gazelle. Chimera Fusion. Summon the Chimera using the, ooh, let's do Edge Imp Chain and Gazelle instead of the Burfamet. So the Edge Imp Chain can grab us a Patchwork and Patchwork can get us a Poly and we can extend from there. And then we're gonna Chain Block, make sure we get all our good adds. Gazelle's gonna add an Illusion, well, something that mentions Chimera Fusion. Edge Imp Chain is gonna grab Patchwork, and then Chimera is going to rip a card from their hand in the end phase. Cool. Cool. Grab the Patchwork. And then Claws can grab just a, another Codal. We don't care. We already have Mirasoid Knight in the graveyard. That's perfect. Okay, uh, Patchwork. Well, first let's recur the Chimera Fusion from Graveyard. Add that back to our hand. I think I did not play the Brandon Engine. I hate that deck. Uh, yeah. I think Brandon's biggest problem is it's overstayed its welcome. But definitely overstayed its welcome. I hate that it like gimmick puppet locks people too. Like if it didn't floodgate people, it'd be it would be like fine because it's just a really grindy engine. And it's just aided by the fact that in the best of one, you don't have sideboarded answers for it. Uh, in the TCG, the deck is good, but it's not great because game two and game three, you can just sideboard like really, really good targeted hate for it. Okay, uh, so now we're going to go Polly. Polly wants to... Polly wants to... We could go... Burfamet to clear this Burfamet to get Mirror Sword Knight back on the field for our opponent's turn. But I kind of want to do Magnum, the reliever, clear the Hugin, and we can use the Kotal. And Magnum, the reliever, is really cool in this deck because I can go ahead and shuffle that Poly back in for another draw. Which will turn on the oh nice draw uh, the second fright for patchwork that I have in my deck, so you get both uses out of your fright for patchwork, and then we're just gonna set Chimera Fusion. It's gonna guardian Chimera on our opponent's turn because we're not gonna try and lock him out. If we were playing Barrier Statue of the Abyss, we'd use that Chimera Fusion again, put the Burfamet and something else to make the other Burfamet and then Burfamet dump um, Barry Stetch of the Abyss and then put Chimera in the graveyard to Reborn the Abyss. But we're not cringe. Uh, so we're going to... We're not going to do that. Let's end our turn there. Let's see what they're playing. Uh, Rika. That's cool. Uh, here's a maxi. Fair is fair. That's fine. You want to use gold by and maxi? I'm good with that. I am good with that. Now we can play a fair game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Nice fair game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You have four cards, and I have one, two. Three points of interaction plus more on the way. So 
So this Chimera Fusion is going to, hopefully we get to use the negate effect of Mirror Sword Net 8 because Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast is on the field. Hopefully we can use that first. So then we can use the Chimera Fusion to fuse this away along with the Burfament and probably the Edge Imp Chain. And then use those to make a Guardian Chimera. And then we'll have Chimera Fusion, which is a fusion spell that will turn on Magnum's uh, pop effect. And then uh, we also have like Draw 2 from Fountain, which is going to be really cool. Yeah, but that's the deck. That's why it's cool. That's why I love playing with it. We had four cards in hand, five cards on field. <coughs> Not bad. And uh, we were going to draw two cards from Runic Fountain on their turn. We were going to draw one or two cards with uh, Guardian Chimera on their turn. And then we were eventually going to put the Burfamet into the graveyard, which would uh, put the Mirror Sword Knight back on the field, and Mirror Sword Knight would tribute itself off. And normally we'd summon that second Burfamet there, but um, we drew it, so we would summon Gazelle, and then Gazelle would add Chimera Fusion. So we would have five cards added to our hand on our opponent's turn, which means we would have anywhere from seven to uh, seven plus cards to work with on our next turn. And the, the advantage train is going. The advantage train is going. That's why I like that deck. It's really cool. Really fun. Really good concept. Really, really, really cool concept. Okay. Going second. This is where the deck struggles a little bit because the runic engine is naturally pretty bad at going second. I mean, you don't get to stop your opponent from doing anything. You just have to hope they don't build a board you can't handle. And then it's even worse in Master Duel because your runic engine is nerfed. So you don't get to play a lot of the good cards like Freezing Curses and all that stuff. Don't get to play a lot of those. So you're left with your runic draws being stuff like Slumber and Smiting Storm more often than not. Which I suppose is fair because if you give runic an inch in a best of one, they'll take it a mile. Oh, everybody left chat. Nobody likes me playing Runic. Does everybody hate Runic that much? Runic's not that bad. Just try playing it. Just try playing it. Just don't play a Floodgate version. Just play the fun combo versions of it. Like, play like Live Twin Runic Sprite or Runic for Hire. Like, those decks are really cool. Those decks are really cool. Play the Chimera Runic deck like I am. See, there's Chimera Fusion. I'm trying to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Trying to interact with my opponent. I'm not trying to floodgate him out of the game. It is funny that everybody left chat the moment I played Frunic, though. That's funny. Thank you to all of you who stayed. Hopefully this is an enjoyable experience for you. I have not played against Amazonas. Probably should be reading what these do. Uh, once per battle phase. Haha, -ha, joke's on you. I won't have a battle phase. Okay, what else do they add? Hot Spring. When it's activated, take Amazonist monster from your deck, add it to the hand, or place it in the pen zone. When they take damage. Gain life points equal to it. Okay, so this is also one of the troubles of the deck. Sometimes it's a little inconsistent. What's Empress do? Other Amazonist cards you control cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. If Amazonist monster attacks defense, inflict piercing. 
Face up, Fusion Summon card, is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. Can special summon Amazon as queen. Okay, that's fine. Uh, runic Slumber. Special Summon. Please do not negate this. I don't have much going on if you don't. Okay. Um, they're going to place it in their pen zone. I guess I don't really have a choice. Got to let it do what it's going to do. I don't know what the Amazon is pen monsters do. We'll find out though. We shall find out. Okay, what do you do? Gain attack you to their own level. Uh, when an attack is declared, target a spell trap on the field, destroy it. That's fine. Yugen? As long as this isn't an Imperm, I'm, I'm in an okay position. Said the man about to be impermed. Oh, that's good. Okay, fountain. Fountain. Getting closer. Smiting storm. Banish four. Oh, do Bell Star engine. We hit the trap and do Bell Star. That's good. It's a good hit. Hit a max C two. That's nice. Okay, we get the draw two. And what are the odds that we draw into a runic name we already had and one we can't use? That is fine. Fine. Fine, I suppose. Let's set the Chimera Fusion. Because if they out the Hugin, we can use Runic Spell to summon Gary. And then Gary is a beast, which means it meets the requirements of Chimera Fusion. We can use that to fuse in the Magnum or the Reliever if we need to. Uh, we'll skip our battle phase just so we have it next turn if we need it. Odds are it's going to get skipped anyways, but who cares? Who cares? Defense position, Hugin out there is probably a liability too. Yeah, might as well Smiting Storm now. Smiting Storm now. Banish 5. They're playing Snake Eyes Amazonas. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Fountain Draw now. It's rough, but I have a feeling they're going to try and pop the fountain. If they have an answer for Hugin, I want to make sure that we at least get value out of the fountain while it's there. Boop. Yep. Are they using the effect or are they just activating? Yep, just activating. Okay, cool. When they activate the effect, we'll uh Um Yes, we use the effect of Hugin. Choose Dispelling. Uh, 
That's fine. Do I do slept near here? Kind of feel like slept near might be fine. Tip is nice. Set Amazon blah 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 blah. Uh yeah, that's fine. Such your such your thing. Uh, I kind of want to save tip for next turn. Slip near. Spanish this. That seems fair. That seems fair. We'll let them know me for half my life points. That's fine. Uh, slept near effect, get you out of the EMZ. Okay, my turn. Okay, we have a dispelling in the graveyard, we have a tip. Oh, Codal, thank you. Okay, now we can start breaking this board. Uh, tip effect. Add a runic card. Okay, we are going to add. Um, da -da 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 uh, probably freezing curses. Probably freezing curses. Maybe a flashing fire. Destruction also seems kind of good. Let's do destruction. Start cleaning out some back row. Because uh, these are guru material. Uh, let's go ahead and use the fountain to draw two, even though we could potentially have a draw three. I just want an extra card in hand for Super Bowl. Okay, we found a good discard for Super Poly. We use Super Poly. We discard a Kotal. Summon Garua using these two. Garua over here. That's fine, activate it. Yep, that's fine. And then let's go Runic Destruction. Let's hit Fusion before that's live. Probably could have hit a pen scale too. That would have been nice, but. It's another downside of this deck. It takes forever to win. You win the game long before the game is over, but it takes forever to win. Okay. Queen. Uh, that's fine. Add your Amazon a spell trap. Call. That's fine. Okay, we activate Kotal. Kotal grab Mirasword Knight. Mirasword Knight. Let's start cleaning up the field. Burfamet. Burfamet effect. Add fusion. Add gazelle. Uh, we will use this 
Chimera Fusion for the Fusion Summon of uh, Chimera. We'll use a Gazelle. We'll use a Burfamet. Chimera. Uh, Burfamet to Reborn. We'll Reborn the Mirror Sword Knight. Gazelle to add. And then Chimera to rip a card from hand. Let's start cleaning this up. Uh, we'll add another Coddle. Burfamet. Summon back that in defense. Okay, we can add a Chimera Fusion back to hand. Okay, now it's big money time. Do this. We fusion summon a Guardian Chimera. We will use the Garua. Uh, Mirror Sword Knight's probably fine to use. Probably fine to use because we've already got all the Chimera fusions in rotation, so we don't need the extra value out of that. Guardian Chimera. Uh, let's do Chimera 1. Garua 2. And let's get pop in. Oh, Polly's such a good get. Oh, tip is good too. Okay, so let's get rid of. Let's get rid of this one. Let's also get rid of. Let's get rid of this one. Scales are gone. Uh, let's poly. We're going to use Slepnir. We're going to make Magnum Reliever using Slepnir and Kotal. Okay, and then Magnum is going to shuffle in the Let's shuffle into Chimera Fusion. For Mirror Sword Knight, that's great. And then we're going to go to Battle Phase to skip our Battle Phase and then resolve the effect of Chimera, rip a card from hand. And then on our opponent's turn. Tip. Add a Runa card. And then Magnum, shuffle into Super Poly, uh, destroy you. That's all fusion monsters out of your extra deck, means you need multiple monsters. Pop, tip, tip, add uh, freezing curses. <coughs> Fountain to draw, might as well just get the plus two now. Don't know what's in their hand. Oh, Ash, that's fine. That's that's really fine. That makes this super easy then. That makes this super easy then. Uh, that's super fine. Super duper fine. They're gonna do an Amazonist card. Whichever one they grab, we're going to have an answer for. We're going to have an answer for. They bring back a monster. Yep, they got princess. Okay, cool. We just freeze and curse the princess. And then we can make another guardian chimera to pop the last two back row. And then just slowly, slowly, slowly bleed them out of resources and win the game. Nope, you don't get to do that. Uh, freezing curses. Freezing curses. F 
for the end of main phase. Chimera Fusion, Guardian Chimera. Using the Guardian Chimera, the Mirror Sword Knight, and let's do the other Guardian Chimera. I'm sorry, the other Chimera. Guardian Chimera. Pop. 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 I might have been a mistake. I should have read that. Oh well. Oh well. We're fine. What do we want to bring back if we're going to use Chimera's effect? We can probably bring back Slipnir. I don't think I can do anything. Not from this position. That's fine. Okay, give us some time back. Oh, full minute to work with, and we got another runic. Uh, at a certain point, too, all your draws just become runics, which is incredible. Then we get infinite recursion of the Chimera Fusion. Yep, uh, let's shuffle back in a Chimera Fusion. Oh, I'm sorry, Banished Chimera Fusion. Let's destroy this. Up. It's fine if you'd like to special summon it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I gotta remember I'm thirty on thirty six hundred life points though. Smiting storm. How many runics do I have in grade? I have enough for a good fountain draw. Uh, we're going to get tip, destruction, freezing curses back. They have 11 cards in deck. Okay, that's fine. Um, 11 cards in deck and I can get rid of 7. That's fine. Let's get rid of 7. Probably should have saved a runic for their turn so I could draw on the one. That was dumb. That was really, 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 really dumb. Probably should have saved a runic so I could, you know, draw into more runics. Oh, thank you for saving my ass. Okay, uh, let's set the Chimera Fusion and go to end phase. I don't think I can use the flashing fire. Yes, I can use the flashing fire. I can use the flashing fire to banish two. Uh, flashing fire. Destroy this one. Runic, grab, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Draw three. And we have found ourselves at the runic point of inevitability. Chat is really silent, not like I have anything to say. Yeah, chat's really silent because I'm playing a runic deck. I, I kind of figure that. Chat's usually a little more talkative when I'm playing Red Dragon Archfiend. Or it's just a Friday and everybody's tired and it's late. Uh, 
All right, well, here we go. I have the biggest monsters on board. They have no cards left in deck. They have no recursion left. We still have 20 cards in deck. We still have a ton of draws. Huh. Maybe they do have stuff left. Proxy of Magician. Um, can I negate the effect? No, but is there any way I can address the effect? I don't know. Probably need to pop that somehow. I'm going to lose just by timeout. <laughs> I got too greedy. <laughs> oh, it is too funny not to do it, though. All right. That's fine. I think I'm going to call it there. I flew too close to the sun. I should have just let him go, but I had to click the button. I had to click the shiny button. Oh, too funny. Too, too, too funny. All right, let's open some packs uh, before we get out of here, and then we'll call it a night. New accessories, dual fields, mm, field parts. Protectors, no, Night Mag Magician's kind of cool. Wallpaper, uh, that's all right. I think I have some free pools I need to take care of before they go away. Let's do some free pools. All right, so Rescue Ace, free pools. Let's see what we get. Big money, big money, big money, no whammies. Uh, whatever. That's fine. Not bad for a free pool. Okay. Makanko, free pools. What do we got? Huh? There's something good in here. Something shiny. Something shiny. Living fossil. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Pearly free pool. Got something shiny in here too. Some real shiny. What we got? Uh, okay. Not the best BLS, but a BLS. That's kind of cool. This little guy, Otoshi Damashi. Little guy, little fuzzball. Okay, and then special tickets. I can use special ticket. Let's see what we get in here. Uh, dark quarter, not bad. Not bad at all. Armored XEs. I like the armored XEs engine. I wish it was. Uh, wish it was good. Yeah, let's use. Another two tickets here, two shinies. Let's see what we get from this one. Uh, that's fine. I don't know if I'll ever play volcanics, but that's still a cool card to kind of have in the collection or break down for dust. We got a UR. Shavar is a good get. That's a very good get. Oh, we got another one too. Ooh, another one. Another Dark Quarter and Promoter. That was a really good pack. That's a really, really good pack. I like the Shavara. I've always been interested in playing in Unchained, but never got the chance to because I got priced out of it in the TCG. So that would be cool to play that. 
Uh, Duel's Cup? Hello, hello. Wavy, what's going on, Omi? We're just wrapping up stream, pulling, pulling some packs. Just pulling some packs and end up closing out the stream. Robo Destroyer, Flying Fortress Skyfire. This would be an awesome card to have if Konami ever decides to run an Edison event for a Master Duel. That would be awesome. The Gemini deck in Edison is really cool. Really, really cool. Um, Evocator Chevalier, the Chevalier, Chevalier, Chevalier. It's a cool card in that deck, along with Giga Plant. Hey, we pulled a Burfamet. Look, we got Burfamet, everybody. We did it. And that's all right. You need one. Okay, cool. So I don't have any. That's fine. All uh, right. I don't think I have any others. Let's pull 100 Legacy Packs. See what's up. We're skipping these. Stealth Kragen. What up? That's a good rip. What did you build today? Uh, Runic Chimera. Runic Chimera is what we built today. Uh, not too many people wanted to hop into a dual room so we could, uh, you know, test ratios and everything like that. But I took it to the rank ladder and I lost due to timeout because I wanted to click buttons after I had already had somebody on deck out. It was funny though. Uh, let's see what else we got in this pack. Morphing Jar, cool for time wizard purposes. Uh, gear feed, Phoenix gear feed. I always like the gear feed. I always think the design of the gear feed cards is really cool. It's a shame they're not that good. Dream Cicada. Ooh, that's a good rip. It's a really good rip. Really, really good rip. I'm kidding. It's not a good rip at all. Uh, what do we got? Degenerate circuits. And then Royal Rare Fake Feather. Send a black wing from the hand of the graveyard. Select a normal trap in your opponent's graveyard. Oh, this is like really, 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 really bad transaction rollback. Huh. All right. Well, that's cool. We got a Royal. Anything else cool? So there's a, an NR, not an NR, a legacy pack format Discord that's just kind of started up. And I really want to play in some of the legacy pack only um, events that they have on. And they have two modes. They have um, sealed only and uh, constructed. And I really want to play in one of the sealed ones. So it's one of the main reasons why I want to pull these legacy packs in addition just to clearing them out because I want to play in the sealed event and getting something like Stealth Kraken is a good rip really good rip Wavy you want to see the deck you want to see the Runic Chimera we played Bestial RDA too Deco Talker is another good rip Card Destruction is a good rip uh, you typically Dark Infinity. Me. Split Mirror. I'm never playing Dream World. That card's fine. Potted Economy. Where did I get. How did I get here? Flying Sting. Sky Pegasus. Uh, oh, Hexial Dark Fusion. What Psychic Fighter? Anything else good? Mirror Wall! Kaminari Attack. Good instant fusion target. Same with Zombie Warrior and Charbin. Okay, I think that's enough legacy packs for today. 
let's go here. We can open another 10 packs. I kind of feel like I have to open another 10 packs. Maybe. Because I only have two Mirror Sword Knight. I mean, I guess I could craft a Mirror Sword Knight because I don't really care about anything else in this pack. I guess I'll just craft it. Saved a thousand gems. About RDA. What? about summoning Chaos Angel with Branded 2 since Rebellion is light and our tuners are dark. Uh, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. You could also summon Barone. That's a good 10 to have on your field. Uh, it is kind of cool that Chaos Angel would banish a card when you synchro summon it and then be a big towers and then protect the board too. That's really cool. It's a cool idea. I like that idea way better than uh, Calamity like that way better than Calamity. It's a, a lot lower investment too than the Calamity thing. Which I kind of like too because Chaos Angel just it doesn't require you to, to resolve Crimson to do it. You just have to if you get stopped you just have to find a way to get Lubellion and Vision on field which isn't that hard. Let's say you get stopped at Red Rising you have access to vision somehow, you get vision, you have access to Lubellion, you use the Red Rising to bring the Lubellion on the field. Boom, now you, you can use Lubellion to set the uh, place the E2 in the spell trap zone, and you're all set up for your Synchro 10. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, if you're going to play E2, that's a good idea. Because that's, uh, that's actually a contingency plan. That's a plan B. That doesn't. It's not a combo that res. Depends on you resolving your full combo. I like that. Uh, Wavy. There it is. There you go, Wavy. Runic Chimera. It's good. It needs some refining, but I don't know what to refine or what to move around yet. Time will tell. I just gotta play test it more. Which I don't know if I'll have time to do. Sag. Uh, let's see if I can break down any new URs while we're here. You, you. Anything else? Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. New. No new URs I can do except for that. Then I can use those. No, I don't want to dismantle that. Then I can use that to craft the third mirror sword knight. Let's just do that now and get it out of the way. And it's regular. Okay. Kind of like. Playing three Mirror Sword Knight instead of three Coddle. Now that it's there, I like having access to more monster negates than I do more target negates. Much, much better. Alright, everybody. And I think that's where I'm going to call stream for today. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry, we didn't get to play test a whole bunch. Uh, didn't seem like a lot of people wanted to play test. Can't blame you. Can't blame you at all. Um, I'll see you on the uh, next video, next stream. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching the uh, what you need to know about the Chimera Illusion stuff. Video did good. I was very happy to see that. Very happy that it did well, even if uh, I may not be in the good graces of the algorithm at the moment because I'm not uploading as consistent as I need to be. But appreciate everything, everybody. Have a good night. See you in the next one.